Hello there. You may be wondering why the pink suit. Well, so the world can see that I have a big ol' heart on. That's heart with a T. For my new obsession, pink. The color, not the pop singer. Personally, I'm more of a Celine kind of guy. Pink is tied, like a beautiful ribbon, to a cause very close to me. Cancer. So, Omaze and I are joining together to scare up some serious cash for fuck cancer. I'm gonna donate the very suit off my back while giving you a chance to own some movie marketing memorabilia. What you do from there is limited only by your imagination. Will you add it to your weekly wardrobe rotation? Does it become a colorful addition to your S&M dungeon? Or will you simply nail it to a post in order to scare away birds, children, and the elderly? Visit the website below to get all the details. This is one fight where everyone can be a hero. No superpowers, capes, or lame CG costumes needed. Just your money. Seriously, we need that. These suits aren't cheap. Head to amaze.com forward slash Deadpool, and together, let's fcancer.com. Hey everybody, they dropped some new Deadpool last night because they premiered the Deadpool movie on FX Networks right before they dropped Legion Episode 1. So obviously this is like a funny promo and them trying to raise money for cancer awareness. If you've watched any of the Arrowverse shows, you might know that Stephen Amell has been doing the F Cancer campaign for like the last four years or so. But they just obviously use this Deadpool room that they're using for all the promos with all these weird Easter eggs lying around. And if you guys didn't know, there actually is a pink Deadpool costume in the comics, but it's not worn by Deadpool, it's worn by Gwenpool. And it's a little bit different from this. This is really just a pink colored version of his Deadpool costume that they're auctioning off. So like if you win this raffle that they're doing as part of this, you actually get to keep the real life costume. If you remember, he actually loaned the real-life Deadpool costume that he kept after the movie to Taylor Swift for Halloween the year that the movie came out. You pan around the frame here, there's a lot of really obvious jokes, like the coffee mug just has boobs drawn all over it, the pillow just reads feminist, the unicorn he's stroking, obviously a reference to the unicorn from the credit sequence in the first movie. He's got a pink sprinkle Simpsons donut on the table. The pink flamingo, not exactly sure what that's a reference to. This is just a lot of like pink paraphernalia all around just to remind you about the cancer. The cancer montage from the first film, probably one of the best scenes of the movie. This is actually the deleted scene of them just going back and forth. I'm gonna wanna move our relationship completely to text and phone calls. No FaceTime, no time around that face. Your head looks like a some sort of crystal that you would see at a two-bit psychic. Can I touch it? You look like Shrek took a shit on your neck. You look like somebody turned your face inside out and then just left it like that, but then you got in a house fire. God, you look like a house fire was in another house fire. Wait, you look like a trash can full of shit was placed on your shoulders and then you were in a train fire. They wound up deleting this just because they went too long, like they were ad-libbing a bunch of different versions of the scene, so they tried to go with the best version of it. They used the idea of the cancer heavily to market that first film. I don't expect it to be a big deal during the second film because he can either have the pretty face or he can have the healing factor. The way they sort of glossed over that technicality is by saying that there would be side effects to activating his new power. Like they just had to torture him till he had some biological response that would automatically just turn on his X gene. Well, we'll have to keep on hurting you. In new and different ways, each more painful than the last. Until you finally mutate. The real reason his face looks like that is just because his healing factor brings him back to a baseline. It's just that the baseline is cancer face. The X gene didn't activate till after his cancer had gotten really bad. If he'd gotten his powers before all this happened, obviously it'd be a non-issue. He'd still look exactly like Ryan Reynolds walking around in a suit. If you're not a big comic book reader though, there have been a couple times in the comics when he has gotten his pretty looking Wade Wilson face back. There was volume one, number 57, when he rejoined the Weapon X program. And then I think even earlier, back during volume one, he went up against Loki. Spoiler alert, do not mess with Loki because he will totally screw with you. He makes Deadpool look like Tom Cruise, only they spelled it T-H-O-M, Tom Cruise, I guess to avoid lawsuits because this was back before Deadpool was such a huge thing. Tom Cruise would be honored to be parodied by Deadpool now, but back then it was actually a much bigger deal. Then some of you may be more familiar with the more recent mustache Deadpool from the Secret Wars run a couple years ago where he got his face back just briefly, but that was because time space had been altered. So usually they are pretty good about obeying the rules of his powers. Like he can either have the healing factor 
or he can have the pretty face. That's the basic rule. Obviously, Deadpool is a hero at the end of the day, so he's going to use his powers to help people, even though he's going to sass everyone and tell jokes the whole time. Star in your own horror films, because you look like Freddy Krueger face fucking topographical map of Utah. Here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to work through his crew until somebody gives up Francis, force him to fix this, then put a bullet in his skull and fuck the brain hole. I don't want to see that or think of it again. But the douchebag does think you're dead, right? Yeah. That's good. You should keep it that way. What, like, like wear a mask? Yes, a very thick mask all the time. I am sorry, you are haunting. Your face is the stuff of nightmares. Like a testicle with teeth. You will die alone. If, I mean, if you could die. The way they're using this room is just like they used that room for the other Deadpool movie. Like, it was almost the same two sets for all the IDs that he would do. Like, he would either tee up some clip, then they would play it, or he would just do a lot of jokes in a stand-up routine. Like, they debuted clips on a bunch of different shows. There was even a clip on The Bachelor. Because I think on a practical level, they just wanted to get everybody to go see the movie. And for the most part, when he was still just a comic book character, just a video game character, his audience was mostly male. So they were just trying to broaden his appeal. Oh, hello. You're probably thinking, my boyfriend said this was a superhero movie. Well, surprise, this is actually, lucky you, a love story. Why the fancy dirt suit, Mr. Poole? When your worst enemy is after your best girl, it's time to be a superhero. But now that everybody's on board, we'll see what they end up doing with the character. But what's going to happen is, is because the Infinity War press tour is officially starting now, you may have seen that funny Thano demands your silence card that the Russos were revealing. Even Tom Holland was like, oh, this letter is totally addressed to me. Please don't spoil Infinity War before Tom Holland and Mark Ruffalo have a chance to. The Deadpool version of that, when they go on their press tour, won't start for a couple more weeks. But you're going to start seeing a whole bunch of funny stuff like this posting for both Infinity War and Deadpool 2. So if you are finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get everything. Let me know if there are any specific comic book Deadpool videos that you want me to do for Deadpool or Infinity War 2. The Marvel stuff is a little more self-explanatory. We haven't quite got to full Deadpool season yet. And everybody's still a little heartbroken at the thought that we're not going to get a really cool animated Deadpool show. But no worries. What'll happen next is, is I'll post my Legion episode 1 video that should be up later today in a couple hours. I have to spend some time with family, so we'll see how fast I can get that done. But click here to rewatch the footage from that cancelled show, and click here for brand new Infinity War.